Gorgeous people, this is Amber's Arts DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a tabletop Christmas tree out of plastic bags from Walmart. And for those of you who've been concerned because I have not been posting videos very much lately, first of all, thank you for your concern, and I appreciate you reaching out. But everything is just fine. I was just preparing for a craft show, and there was no way that I was going to be able to prepare for the craft show and do craft videos for my channel. So I had to pick and choose, and obviously the craft show won because I really needed to get some items ready to sell at the craft show so I was not able to do both so I had to take a break from YouTube but I'm back now and I'm going to post a few more craft videos this week and then next week well there'll be Christmas craft videos and then next week will be I don't know <laughs> random other things and then ramping up in January we're gonna start getting ready for Valentine crafts and then spring and so on and so forth so I will have many more things to come but I just want to let you guys know everything is okay I was just extremely busy and did not have time to prepare a video videos for you. So without further ado, let's jump into this DIY. Okay guys, so we're starting off with five Walmart bags that I have lined up perfectly with their handles here. Then I'm going to take a sixth bag and I'm going to feed it through those handles and then I'm going to just tie a slip knot. After I've done that, I'm going to move two of the bags over to the this side so that I have three bags on each side. Then I'm going to put large holes in all of the bags and then I'm going to go ahead and braid them. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a really long chain with this. So what I'm gonna do is take two more bags and then feed a third bag through the handles of those two bags. And then I'm gonna attach that little thing that I just tied together to the very end of the one that I just did. And I did that by just unraveling the one end and then I'm just gonna tie that into place. Then I'm gonna go ahead and braid these bags down and I'm going to continue doing this and adding as many bags as I feel that I need to get this the length that I feel is appropriate to make the tabletop tree. Now that I have all of that done, I'm going to take this cone here that I just uh, lined with uh, aluminum foil. Then I have my pan at the bottom and my heat tool, and I'm just going to start melting down the bags. So as I melt down the bags, I just go ahead and like squish them together so that they stick together as they dry and get hard. And then I'm just going to go ahead and like wrap, like wrap it around I guess is what I'm trying to say here so that I can just get the two ends together so that I have something stuck together and I have some kind of base to work with so that's all I'm doing here is just melting down just these two ends so that I can kind of get them stuck together to just go ahead and wrap the rest of the tree now at first I was thinking that I was just going to melt it in pieces and parts and then I thought that's kind of silly I really don't need to do that so all you need to do is get however big of a circle that you want for your base connect it together and then just go ahead and wrap the rest of your little chain of braided bags around the cone form that you have in place here. Then you're going to be able to take your heat tool and just start melting it down. This is a far easier way to do it than how I was originally starting to do it. So just go ahead and take your heat tool and just start melting, melting bags away until you're happy with the way that this looks. Yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people... Okay, then as I got closer to the top, I decided to go ahead and pull out my little tree form here. And then just go ahead and free form finishing the top of it. I thought that would be a lot easier for me. So that's all I'm doing here is I'm going to pull that out. And then I'm going to flip the tree upwards. And then just go ahead and finish forming the very top of the tree. These are the good times with you. Baby, this... It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? 
making our Christmas fun. Okay, once I finish doing that, I noticed that I have tons of big holes. So all I'm gonna do is take some plastic bags, stick them inside the little hole that you saw there, or the big hole. I'm gonna cut off my excess, and then I'm just going to go ahead and take my heat tool, and I'm going to melt those bags into place so that that hole is no more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that all the way around wherever I see these very large holes. I'm gonna do that on the outside, and then go ahead and melt it on the inside as well. Oh, da -da -da -da. Christmas okay, once I finish all that up, I'm going to go ahead and add some spray paint, some other embellishments, and this DIY is done. And here it is. I took this footage at the craft show, guys, because I totally forgot to do it before I left. But nonetheless, I love the way that it turned out. I think those pit berries are a great pairing for this tree, as well as the Epsom salt for the snow. Let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I'm super happy with the way that the tree turned out overall and I do apologize that I did not have the footage of me putting the glue with the Epsom salt around the tree and putting the pit berries on from the Dollar Tree and then I added a bow to the top and that's all I did to embellish this. But I do want to figure out a way that I can add lights to this. There's no way that I could put the lights on first and then melt it down because <laughs> the lights would melt with <laughs> the uh, plastic. So I'm definitely going to have to find a way where I can put holes where the lights would need to go and then straight the lights after I've already melted the tree and molded the tree into place. So I will hopefully have that figured out for you guys next year or if there's another holiday coming up that I can do a tree for that specific holiday and show it to you, I will do it then. But that's just a thought. Um, I definitely also want to try using two liter bottles instead of that like um, the uh, aluminum foil like form that I had instead of using that I thought about just doing two liter bottles because then everything would just melt together and it would make it even stronger so I'm probably going to try doing it that way as well so for those of you who actually do try these plastic bag crafts that I'm sharing with you um let me know if you try either of those ideas because I'm definitely going to play around with it give it a try and as soon as I figure it out you guys will be the first to know <laughs> all right guys that's all I got for you in this video and I'll catch you in my next one Bye! And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made a Christmas tree decor piece out of plastic bags from Walmart. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't want to say it. A Christmas tree? Tabletop Christmas tree. Let's try that. Okay. <laughs> thank you for reaching out and thank you for your concern. But I have just been extremely busy that I was getting ready. That I was when I was, how I was. <laughs> okay, try it again. And um, I think I might have one more other thing that I might post. But nonetheless, I'm going to do a tour of my house, which I didn't decorate as much as I usually, usually do. But um, if I can get that out. But, um, ugh, okay. Whoop! So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it that way and um, show you guys that avenue. So for those of you who do these types of crafts, I know these aren't for anyone. For anyone? For everyone? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, guys. So I'm super happy with the way that the, the trick.